Hi everybody. Today in this lecture we are going to consider an ideal gas in a quantum mechanical microcanonical ensemble. So here uh, we are considering a gaseous system of n non-interacting indistinguishable particles confined to a space of volume V and sharing a given energy E. And we know we are now considering microcanonical ensemble where the macro state is specified by three variables number of particles, volume, energy. So these three are constants here. And uh, the number of micro states accessible to the system under this macro state, which is given by omega of NV. Now, the interesting thing is for a large volume, in statistical mechanics, we always consider large volume. The single particle energy levels in the system are very close to one another. These are the single particle energy levels. And we divide the energy spectrum into a large number of groups of levels. So we divide the single particle energy level spectrum into a very large number of groups of levels and uh, epsilon i the average energy of the i the cell group of levels is called a cell epsilon i is the average energy of i the cell g i is the number of levels in i the cell the distribution set is represented by n i which represents an N1 number of particles in the first level, N2 number of particles in the second level, N3 particles in the third level, or third cell. Okay, N1 particles in the first cell, N2 particles in the second cell, N3 in the second and uh, third cell, N4 in the fourth cell, like that. So we have a distribution set. And the condition is sigma i and i. If you add number of particles in all the cells, you get the total number of particles in the system. So sigma i and i is equal to capital N. The next thing is sigma i and i epsilon i. What is sigma i, I and i epsilon i? That is actually the total energy. So what you are trying to do is multiplying the number of particles in each cell with the average energy of each cell and then sum over all the cells you get the total energy. And this one, the omega of NVE, that is the total number of micro states in the system, which is summation over the different distribution sets. Okay. We know what is a distribution set. It simply specifies how many particles are there in each cell of the system. So we sum over the different distribution sets satisfying this condition. This has to be always satisfied. W of n i. W of n i is the number of distinct micro states associated with the distribution set n i. And this W of n i can also be written as pi i w i pi. This, is, this one actually represents the multiplication over the different cells. What is this small wi? W is the number of distinct microstates associated with the ith cell of the spectrum. Okay, w, this small wi is the number of distinct microstates associated with the ith cell of the spectrum. Okay, that shows how uh, Ni particles are distributed in how Ni particles or how many different ways Ni particles are distributed in GI levels of the ith cell. Okay, so the product goes over all the cells in the spectrum. Wi is the number of distinct ways in which the Ni identical and indistinguishable particles can be distributed among the GI levels. Okay, we consider the Bose Einstein case. Bose Einstein case, there is no restriction to the number of particles that can be accommodated in any energy level. Okay, 
there is no restriction on the number of particles that can be in a given energy level. So distribution of Ni indistinguishable particles in GA levels is equivalent to distribution of Ni indistinguishable particles in a box divided into GA compartments with GI minus 1 partitions. Okay, so this situation is now uh, equivalent to a box consisting of GI compartments. We have GI compartments formed using GI minus 1 partitions. Okay, here we know there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 compartments. It is formed by using 6 partitions P1 to P6. Okay, and uh, we have N9 distinguishable particles that has to be distributed in these GI compartments. So, to determine that distributions, the number of the distributions, we represent the particles uh, like this. The partition, this one, P1 is represented by this, P2. So the partitions are represented by this shaded uh, circles, small circles. And these circles represent the objects, sorry, the particles. And we know there are Ni particles and Gi minus 1 partitions. They together form Ni plus Gi minus 1 objects. The total number of different Vs, these Ni particles with Gi minus 1 partitions can be permuted or arranged it is given by n9 plus g i minus 1 factorial. Now the n9 particles indistinguishable are indistinguishable. So n9 factorial permutations among themselves. Okay, n9 factorial permutations of the particles among themselves will not produce a new arrangement. That will not produce a new arrangement. Similarly, GI minus 1 partitions here, the permutations among themselves will not produce a new arrangement. So, the number of distinct ways of distributing Ni indistinguishable particles among GI levels, okay, number of distinct ways of distributing Ni indistinguishable particles among GI levels is given by and i plus g i minus 1 factorial. Now to uh, have the distinct ways because we, we saw the n i factorial ways the particles can be distributed among themselves. That will not produce a new distribution because uh, if the particles are indistinguishable. So we have to divide this expression by n i factorial. Also uh, G A minus 1 partitions are there. Distribution among these uh, G A minus 1 partitions will not produce a new distribution. So we have to divide it by G A minus 1 factorial. So the total number of ways in which the whole N capital N particles can be distributed. This is for the ith cell. We have to consider all the cells. All the cells distribution of capital N particles in all the cells that is given by uh, pi i n i plus g i minus 1 factorial divided by n i factorial uh, g i minus 1 factorial. Okay, so this is for Bose-Einstein case. Now we consider the next uh, quantum case, the Fermi-Dirac case. So here uh, in the Fermi-Dirac case, no single particle level can accommodate more than one particle. That is, it obeys Pauli exclusion principle 